Stranger, got it. Okay then. See?
Come on, boy. <laughs> Mr. Morgan. Yes, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Matthews gave me a message for you. He said when it was convenient to head into Emerald Ranch. He's looking at a few business things there. Okay. Oh, he'll find something, too. He always does. Will you be well now, Mr. Morgan? I'm always well, Miss Grimshaw. I was in I don't know why. Arthur Morgan. King among men. King among fools, more like. Very sweet. Strange and horrible and you know, Driscoll. Sweet. I'm not no Driscoll, miss. Okay. Well, whatever you say. Leave me alone, will you? You're pathetic. You're a pathetic man, John Marston. Don't I know it? We're gonna run out of meat here soon if we're not careful. Can't have that pot go completely empty. Can't wait to taste this. Good job, Mr. Morgan. I'm very into my crafting at the moment, Mr. Morgan. I'm very happy to make you something if you bring me the right materials. I reckon I need to get my hands on some materials first. Arthur? Ah, Mr. Morgan. Hey, Jack. You seem chipper. But where there's life, there's hope, my friend. And? We've been thinking about our problem. <laughs> Susan! Hi there, Arthur.
this all I want. Damn you! Damn all you! You ain't so smashed! Easy, whoa. boy. Hey, mister. I hope whoever you are mixing it up with is wearing less red. Swanson, you in here? Reverend! Mr. Morgan. I took your advice, sir. I took your advice. Then your god has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I took your advice, sir. I have removed myself from Morpheus's embrace. No more shall I sink, sir. I am free. I am free. You don't seem free, friend. You seem drunk. Sit down, Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't finished. Look at him. He's finished. None of us forced liquor down his throat, friend. I just want him to play. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Don't make no mistake on that subject. Now, secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone reason. Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither, but seeing I do just fine. You want to step outside or deal with business here? 
I just want them to finish the game. Why can't we all just get along? These are good men, Arthur. They're children of God. They're children of God. Oh. Uh, how's about you playing his place, huh? That seems fair. Fair? Sure. You want a game? I can't, partners. I don't mean to spoil your fun, but I got things to do. You sure? Quite sure. I got to get him out of here. Come on, Reverend, let's get you home. Where'd he go? I don't know. I was talking to you. <sighs> Gentlemen. Reverend! Reverend Swanson! Where'd you go? Excuse me, I'm sorry. You, you see a drunken idiot, a priest, wandering about? Sure, we saw him, smelt him, and avoided him. <laughs> he went that way, I think. Thanks. Guy looked kind of crazy, mister. Reverend! Over here! Yep. Okay, boy. Off him. I didn't say a word. You'll keep. You stay out of it. Get your hands off him now, you son of a bitch. What the hell is your problem? He's with me. You're dead, friend. I'll kill you both. You're going down. Wasting ah. my time. Oh my god, I killed him. I'm gonna keep the law on you. Hey you, get back here. Just a simple mistake. You can still be safe. What have you done with your foot? It appears to like this place and wants to stay. Get your foot out of here. Twist your leg, you drunken bastard! You got it! Come on! Thank you, sir! Uh, uh, oh, no, you don't! What the hell is wrong with you? What the hell is wrong with you? Throwing me off a bridge like there that! There was a goddamn train, you crazy bastard! <laughs> Have I been bad again, Mr. Morgan? I'm sorry. Uh, I wish I was different. <laughs> Let's get you home. Home? Yeah. That's a wonderful idea. I could have tea with Margaret. Margaret? Who's Margaret? But... Ma <sighs> <gasps> 
Uh, what are you mumbling about now? Okay, boy. Let's go. for the road when he'd show up. <laughs> you better sleep your way to salvation, my friend. <laughs> oh, what happened? Just the usual. Poor <laughs> bastard. Exactly. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. I'll keep an eye on him. He was lucky this time. Real lucky. Let's get you cleaned up. You okay, boy? Okay, boy.
perdiendo la concentración. Would you be interested in some friendly competition? I've come all the way north from Mexico to challenge a real American gunslinger. You him? Me? A real gunslinger? <laughs> Let's find out. Okay, man. That's what I like to hear. Look, man, rules are simple, okay? Whoever shoots more of these bottles, wins. Just draw your gun and aim when you're ready, all right? <laughs> Shoot! Easy, man. Perfecto! Damn it all! How the hell did you beat me, huh? <sighs> Better shot, I suppose. Oh, that didn't make me happy at all. How about we raise the stakes, huh? All right, let's do it. Aha! Uh -huh, that... A good call, amigo. Okay, whoever shoots four birds out of the sky first, wins. Simple enough? Stand near me, and as soon as they come out, it's anyone's shot. Be patient. Ah, there they go. Shoot! It was a good try, but... <laughs> Maybe next time, huh? Listen, you need to pay me for your loss, okay? I ain't giving you shit. Okay, give me what you owe me, cowboy. The name's William. Arthur, you familiar with the study of plants, my friend? Familiar ain't quite the word I'd use. Well, let me tell you. This great earth beneath our feet can provide everything man ever needs. But we've only reached a tiny bit of its potential. You see, there are thousands, maybe millions of plants all across this vast country we share. The mountains, the plains, the swamps. I mean to explore them all, to know all of nature's bounty and all of her wonder, if I can. Sure. But I'm only one man. 
Would you consider helping me with gathering herbs for my studies? Why? Knowledge. Kindness. Beauty. Well, I'm ignorant, ugly, and nasty. <laughs> well, let's see if maybe we can do something about that. I'll see. I'm looking for a plant called yarrow. You can distinguish it by its red flowers. It shouldn't be too hard to find. They thrive out in the open under direct sunlight. <laughs> Let's see how this tastes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel better already. They were right. This stuff does have medicinal properties. All this help, you deserve something in return. Well, this is this can cure almost all malady. It's to your animal now. Uh, and otherwise. Don't ask how. Now, if you don't mind, I'll be getting back to my studies. I look forward to our next meeting, Traveler. I can see why you do this. All the best to you. Thanks, Arthur. A and to you. Let's go, boy.
Yep. Oh no, boy. Nearly done.
physiology. <laughs> Gentlemen! Shell of safety. Shell of safety. Can I speak to the boy? Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen? Sir. I'm still searching, I guess. We are all searching. Chelonianism is about searching. What do we search for, do you think? I don't know. <laughs> Safety? Safety and meaning? <laughs> Jamie knows the truth. But of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... I'm not... I'm not coming with you, Arthur! Just come and speak with Mary, then make up your mind! Show Leave me, me alone, up. Arthur! I didn't ask for your help! Just a kid! A 
You're making a big mistake. I'm not taking advice from you. You're an outlaw. You leave me alone. They're good people. I'm warning you, Arthur Morgan. <laughs> leave me alone. Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur. I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore. Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone. I warn you, Arthur! I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore! Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone! Now calm down! Let's go see your sister. Okay. Okay. It's okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know, there ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. And didn't try to kill yourself. Why are we getting off? So... You were saying? You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Shalonia, though. Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtles. Shut up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father, a nice man. He won't be happy I saw you. And please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, uh, well, um... Uh, don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something, but all right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and what was his name, H Hester? Jose, yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Shit. Maybe Mary did make the right choice. No doubt. But none of it is anything like the nonsense you read in the newspapers. Here we are. She must be waiting inside. Morning. Hello, gentlemen. Make it quick, or 
I might run off again. Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. I've... you're... Oh, you'll never change. I know that. I feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but somehow I imagine I shall. 